welcome back. Today we're going to learn three characters based on a character Fu, which means father. Let's dive right in. Our first character is pronounced Fu. It means father. Let's break it down. On the top of this character, you can see a small version of the character Ba or eight. And on the bottom, you have a structure that looks like an X. When you put the two together, you get Fu. Makes sense, right? In ancient China, the father used to be the master of a family. The character shows that there's a hand holding a stick to punish children who did something wrong. But the way how a father teaches his kids has changed a lot since then. I would rather think of it as a father teaching his baby to walk. The figure of the father in the picture looks just like the character for Fu, doesn't it? This is how Fu is written, stroke by stroke. Now that you've learned the character, let's see how Fu is used in a few compound words. The first one is Fu Qin. We learn Qin together in the first character course, and here it is again in Fu Qin. Do you still remember the character Qin? I hope so. One of its meaning is close or relatives. So Fu Qin literally contains the meaning that the father is one of the closest relatives to us. Let's read it together. Fu Qin. Good. Just as a reminder, Fu Qin is a formal word and used more often when you talk about your father in a formal way. Let's use it in a sentence. Read it with me. 我父亲是老师. Great. This means my father is a teacher. Let's learn another word that uses fu. This word is fu mu. It means father and mother or parents. We'll learn the character for mu later on in this course. Let's use it in a sentence. Read it with me. 你父母是做什么的? Good job! This means, what do your parents do? If you're living in China, you might be asked this question at some point. Okay, now let's move on to our second character. This character is pronounced Jiao. Depending on the context, it could mean to interact, to submit, or to exchange. Let's take apart the character of Jiao. On top, we have the character Liu, which means six. On the bottom, we have the X structure again. When you put the two together, you get Jiao. Try to write it out for yourself and see. You know that relationships are often facilitated by the exchange of goods and services. You can visualize jiao as two people trading their goods and their arms crossing during the exchange. This is how jiao is written, stroke by stroke. Let's look at some words where we use jiao. This word is Wai jiao. It refers to foreign affairs or diplomacy. Wai is a character we learn in our first YoYo 300 character course. It means external. And in this case, jiao means to interact. You can see why these two characters created a compound word that means foreign affairs. Let's use it in a sentence. Read it with me. 他在外交部上班. Good! 
This means he works at the Department of Foreign Affairs. Let's move on to one more example of compound words with 教 Now, let's look at this character in another word. Please read it with me. 交给 Great! This means to submit something to someone or to hand something in. For example, we can say 请把这个交给他 Can you read this on your own? Great job! We learn all these characters in our two character courses. And now you know all of these characters. So this sentence means, please give this to her. Let's read it again together. 请把这个交给她. Good. Okay, we have one more example of compound words with 交. This word is 上交. If you remember, 上 means up. You know how in English we say turn in, as in turn in your homework. Well, in Chinese we say turn up, 上交. Let's see how it's used in a sentence. Read it with me. 作业需要上交吗? 作业 means homework. This sentence means, does the homework need to be turned in? Alright, let's move on to our last character for today's lesson. Our last character for this lesson is 爷. It means old man or grandfather. One part of the character, ye should look familiar. Hmm, do you see it? That's right. The first character we learned today, fu, is actually a part of the character, ye. To me, ye looks just like fu, but with a walking cane on the bottom. Which makes sense. When the father gets old, he will become the grandfather. This is how ye is written, stroke by stroke. When we stack two yes together, we get the word ye ye. It means grandfather. Another word that uses ye is da ye. Note that the ye in this word has a neutral tone. When you say this word, you want to put emphasis on the da and just very lightly touch on the ye. Say it with me. Da ye. Da ye formally refers to your dad's older brother, but it is also generically used to respectfully refer to older males one or more generations above you. Let's use it in a sentence. Say it with me. This means uncle is a good person. Alright, we have one last example of words that use ye. This word is 老天爷. It is the god in traditional Chinese culture, the lord of the sky and heaven. Let's see how it's usually used. Let's read it together. 老天爷,帮帮我吧! This means, God, please help me. Before a big exam, you will probably find students desperately yelling this phrase into the sky. Maybe it works. Fu. Jiao. Yeah. All right, that's the end of this lesson, and that's all the new characters for Unit 1. Yay! The next time we meet, we'll be reviewing all characters we learned in Unit 1. Great job today, and I'll see you soon. 
This lesson was from our Chinese character course too. In it, I'll teach you the most common Chinese characters, 300 to 600. The first few units of the course are free on our website, yoyochinese.com. So sign up and see how our building block approach makes learning characters easy and fun. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.